day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Now, now, go for that, brother. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say unto thee, until seven times, but until seven times seven. Yes, sir. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. Yes, sir. And when he had begun to reckon, one was bought unto him, which owed him 10,000 talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold and his wife and and children and all that he had in payments to be made. Yes. So you see the cost I put there what a talent is, right? Yes. Yeah. Each equivalent today is four thousand and eighty dollars. Uh but if he said how much he was said times what? <laughs> this guy ten thousand he he owed him ten thousand talents. Yeah. And I think that's what up, right? Am I wrong? Did that, that calculate up top? Um, I'm guessing that's that's what it is. Yeah, is a money man, but I, I think that's about that's a lot of money. <laughs> that's a lot of money that that boy owed that owed that kid. And the question is, how much you owe, right? Or how much did you owe with that price paid? It? Is it is it equivalent? to that and come on a lifetime of, of a sin. But now, now look at the issue here. Go next one, sir. The servant therefore fell down and worshiped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay thee all. Uh -huh. And the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt. Okay. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him a hundred pence. Hundred pence, and he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, "Pay me that thou owest." And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, "Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all." And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. Yeah, I, I put on was that one. It said that pence. The difference between a talent and a fence is mm -hmm. a fence is 16 cents equivalent today. And he owed him a hundred of them, right? <laughs> oh, he, the, the, I hope I owed the man $16 while he was forgiven $40 million. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you see the equivalent difference in pay there or offense? And that's how God looks at us. It's like, really? You you can't you can't forget you can't you can't uh you can't forgive one another, really? You can't forgive them for sixteen dollars? Why did why you owe somebody forty million? That that that's what God is sitting there saying. So this is what happens on this one. Go ahead. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desirest me. Should not, shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? Mm. And his Lord was wrong, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. Mm -hmm. So likewise shall my heavenly father do also unto you, if ye from your heart forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. Mm -hmm. So not only, you, you got to live, not only did he, he forgave him of what he owed, because, because of that man, his family was subject Everything. To be fallen. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Now that's a good catch right there, too. 
not 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 his his actions affected not only him but his family as well because he owed so much. Yeah. You yeah. know, and um Woo. that's true. That is but true. We're, we're talking about compassion here. Yeah, and you saw look, matter of fact, you said you said compassion and wrath. Jim was talking about that. You see both there, didn't you? If you look mm -hmm. at it, I yeah. saw, you saw compassion and he showed saw wrath. So both of those are indicated in this parable. Yeah, you know, compassion is something that you have to feel something. Yeah. You 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 feel the agony or the 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 torment that that person is going through because they cannot you know and and um and the news of of consequences for not being able to pay something in a timely manner you know we we don't know if if their ability to pay you know if they weren't paying on it and then they just wanted it all then you, you know what i'm saying if they were making installments and then all of a sudden the, the everything changed i want it all right now yeah 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 well that's the point i think what he said it was it was a it was a reckoning of the account right and yeah. you know i think in one of the stories one of the parables story he was i mean that one guy who gave uh uh the the he he was reckoning account he would be fired so what he did was he went to all the accounts and and corrected them with the people that owe the the master the money right and, mm -hmm. and, and he said that was a wise thing that you did uh because the children's world don't understand you, you gotta you gotta understand those issues so my point is though is that god looks at this stuff and said man listen you you how much debt you think how, when you look at that from a spiritual perspective do you think that you owed a lot of debt? Most definitely. I owed yes. everything. Yes, sir. And you know, but, but but God, you know, found it so that his compassion was because one man's offense. Yeah. He didn't want me to suffer. And he didn't even want Adam to <laughs> suffer. I mean, at, at, right at that moment, he forgave him because he started making efforts to, to for his life, and he never strayed from him. You know, he never left Adam alone, Adam and Eve. He was there with him even in their fallen state. Exactly. And he and even look at Cain. He didn't. You see, you saw him. He put a he put a mark on him, but that mark was what was the mark for? So that nobody kill him. Exactly. Isn't that interesting? A killer, he killed somebody. And a mock, the mercy of God, was to put a mock on and say, if you do this to him, it's seven times on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we see the, the, God is trying to tell us, you know, for this whole chapter, he said offenses will come, correct? He said that. But he also said that the the fact is that you got to learn how to forgive people of the offenses, just like I've forgiven you. You got to show, I think he even said compassion. He said, why would you show the same compassion that I had towards you to your fellow brothers? Yeah. And that's that's all God is asking all of us to do. There's a, I'm trying to say, if you want somebody to see Jesus in us, show compassion for one another instead of the condemnation, instead of the uh, condemning. They condemn themselves if they don't want to receive Christ. But that's not your, you see what I'm saying? That's not our role to play. Yeah, we don't, we can't condemn nobody. Because you owe too much. And if you, in, in the humble part, hey, my fact, you think about that chapter, the humble part is, I owe too much. Mm -hmm. To be worried about condemning somebody else. Yeah. Don't worry about yeah. putting somebody else down. I owe too much. 
I, 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 I'm in danger of going into hell, Maine, if I don't get my act together. Yeah. Come on, bro. The, he's, he's, the message is, I'm just saying, it's not, look at the, the tenet of what, what do you get out of that message, the whole chapter? What, as we wrap this up, what's, it, what's, it, what's your synopsis? A synopsis of the whole chapter? Yeah, I mean, it's just a synopsis. I mean, because I just wrapped, I just, I just went through the whole thing. You got to come in humble, right? And I, I'm just saying from your perspective, I'm saying, I see offenses come. He said it will come, correct? Yeah. He said he wants to look for the loss. And then he even demonstrated that when you do come, if you owe your debt, I'm going to forgive you your debt. And then you should have the same compassion. Remember that same commandment? He said, new commandment I give unto you, if you love one another as I have loved you. I, there it is right there. As I have loved you. That principle equals the same thing about the commandment. New commandment given to you. Did you love one another as I have loved you? Did you also love one another? What? Well, I forgave you all your debt. Yeah, well, my my synopsis is basically this. That once you enter the kingdom, you are part of the kingdom. You should have a kingdom mindset, just like your father, and then operate in such, period. Yeah, and you know the, the, the lesson learned is know your father. Know your savior. Know the Holy Spirit. Well, that's what the Bible tells us. It's like uh, everything comes from the knowledge of God and his son, Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. So it, it, it all stems right there. That, that That's it. I yeah. mean, you can read it over and over throughout the, the New Testament. I know. The knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. The Come knowledge on. of God and of Jesus Christ. Yes. You, you, you want to understand this? You want revelation? Come on. Start doing that. Le learn, learn about our Father. Yes. Learn about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Learn about his purpose. Learn about the love that they have. Come love on. what they did from love. Come on. You'll, you'll see their nature, and, and you can actually copy that, and then it, it, see it, it becomes a part of you. Yeah. Um, and they'll see, him. they'll see him in you instead of you. Yeah, but you just can't do this haphazardly. Nope. You have to be purpose uh, yeah. in, 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 in your efforts. Nobody goes into a relationship, you know, you can't develop a relationship with only one person making an effort. <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't, I can't have a wife if I never cultivate a relationship with her. Come it on, just bro. doesn't work. And even if I'm the one trying to cultivate the relationship and she don't want to have nothing to do with me, there's still no relationship, though I want it. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So that's how God is. God wants relationship. Yeah. But if you don't, it, it requires give and get. Yeah. You know, there's a communication. There has to be communication. So you can't just keep talking and, and asking God, ask, 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 and not listen for a response. Yes. Because there's no relationship. Right. There's no one-sided relationship. And that's why he said, I never knew you. For those people who said, I prophesied in your name. Cast yeah. out in your name. I never knew you. See, I, I mean, maybe it's part of our message when we teach it and, and ministering people is to know him and teach him. And that is not as complicated as, it's not theology we're talking to talk about. We're not studying him. We're getting to know him. And he's using these parables uh, as examples. I gave you compassion. Should you not give your own brothers and sisters the same compassion? Yeah. Come on, bro. It's, it's, he's saying, otherwise, how you doing? He's restating throughout the Bible. His will is in him. He showed you Israel. They, they went up, they went down. They went up, they went down. Why? Because that's the nature 
And I like your word. That's the default that he's been dealing with with mankind. The human nature after the fall. Yeah. It's defaulted to a, 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 a lust of the flesh. Yeah. And, 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 and that's just it. This, yeah. this, the sin is in, is in the flesh. And that is the default. And it, take, it takes uh, the Spirit of God to overcome that. Yes. The Spirit it's, of God to overcome it. Right? I like that what you're saying there. It's the Spirit of God that helps you overcome it. I like that, bro. That's what he's trying to say. So that's what I got out of it. And I'm, I'm just saying it, that gave it very, to me a strategic picture of the intent of God. You all are, and that's a lot of money. I mean, I don't know if you, the way I'm looking at this, that's a big gap. He's trying to show your sin that you owe. And and I think some people, Brother Isaac, to me, some people have a problem with the, the, uh, that, this is what I'm going to throw at you, and I'm, I'm going to close with this. I'm going to throw this at you guys. Let me put it here. Some people, have a problem with this statement right here. When you looked at this uh, old forty million dollars, right? The forty million. Mm -hmm. Somebody may if, look. Take that. Somebody may say, "Well, I only own uh, fifteen million. I, I only own ten million. I only own five million, right?" So they're gonna compare. They're they're comfortable comparing. The amount of the debt to determine their actions towards you, and I just want to say, what what do you think about that concept? Of uh, what people sit there and think that well, mine is not as worse as you. Well, <laughs> it's it's just it, it's obvious. It, in my mind, people think sin has different levels. Yeah, yeah. You know, like like one sin is greater than the other. No, sin is sin. <laughs> <laughs> period. It's period. You know, uh, the wages of sin is death. It doesn't. Just sin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I think that's one of the things one of the point out to people because sometimes we try to compare among ourselves the debt. And it doesn't matter. You, my, if I, if you got a hundred million, a hundred thousand dollars, I got five five, you know, whatever, uh, it's still a debt. And I still can't pay it. Yeah, well. <laughs> Come on, bro, that's the whole point. So, <laughs> I think we need All I know to is, when, when God reconciles his account, <laughs> I when, need... <laughs> the, when, he, when he begins his reckon, I need Jesus. I, I pray to be found in Christ. <laughs> uh, you can't... Uh, because the, the, hmm. I can't pay it. You can't pay it. That's the whole point. Your, what's the difference? So people, I want to leave that with some people. It doesn't matter how much somebody else owes in debt. You can't pay. They can't pay. Only Christ can pay through the blood of Jesus. And then to humble yourself toward one another because all have sinned. 